My life is like a storybook. It's an amazing, true story about a country boy whose dreams all came true. My parents were gospel singers when I was 17 years old. I had written a song that Elvis Presley had recorded, and he was the biggest star in the world at the time. Doors were open, TV and stadiums and coliseums. And for me, it was a dream world. I didn't know how to handle that. I never had any money before. I never had a lot of attention before. After meeting Elvis, I met the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Clapton and Dylan. And I mean, I was getting high with all these guys. And I got strung out, man. What I thought was a party ended up being like a pit of oppression and discouragement and depression. In 1980, the second chapter of Acts concert, I got born again I gave not just my problems, but my life to the Lord. You know, I had to quit rock and roll to get away from the drugs and the groupies and, and to live for Jesus. So my pastor gave me a job as a janitor at my church. We started a little band called Broken Heart. And we were just playing in high schools around Atlanta and, you know, just leading kids to Jesus anywhere we could. That group grew until uh, we headlined every Christian festival that we wanted to play in the world for years there and you know won Grammys and Dove Awards and and sold millions of records but the most important thing was we led a couple hundred thousand kids to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. So I've written a book basically about my life. I believe the Lord told me to, that I needed to share what He has done for me with prisoners and with soldiers. I want to give this book to those guys that are behind bars, the guys who were angry and rebellious like I was, who now are in a hopeless place and without Christ. And so uh, this book is a simple book. It's about an hour and a half read. It's mostly pictures. There is a scripture, my favorite in fact, that says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and blessed is the man who trusts in Him. A purpose for writing this book is to uh, help those people who don't go to church, who, who don't really watch Christian TV, but who need to know the truth that can set a man free.